Let's go. Let's get to the house. What up, what up, what up? Two more too easy. Welcome to another edition of Do Easy Delivers. I'm on TV. So come back for new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Thursday, April. No, we're in May already. Thursday, May 2nd. And this is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I, I did a $3 order yesterday. It got me mad. So I'm going to do DoorDash Earn by Offer as a Platinum Dasher DoorDash with a 71% acceptance rating. We're going to see if it's, it works. I'm going to not care about lowering the thing to 50%. I'll let it lower to 50%. I already have my schedule for the whole week. So once I lose Platinum at any time dash, I'm not gonna care. I'm just going to have my schedule for the rest of the week and I'm gonna continue scheduling six days in advance until I get to 50%. Once I get to 50%, then I will do a DoorDash schedule only where I go back to like 70% or something like that. But for now, I'm going back to earn by offer. No more no tip orders or if, if it's no tip, as, as long as DoorDash pays enough money for me to accept it, then I will do it. But no more gambling for now. I want to take a break with that and let's see if we can make some money with that strategy. But our we're going to keep the same other strategy, which is Uber Eats, Uber Rideshare, Lyft, and we're going to do Instacart. We're going to do Instacart, but Uber, Lyft, and Uber Eats, we're going to do $5 minimum, $1 per mile minimum, $20 per hour minimum. And that's what we're going to do now. With that being said, let's not waste any more time on this intro. All right, let's go. Don't forget to smash that like button, thumb below in the YouTube world. And if you like this video, at the end, you want to watch videos of me doing delivery, subscribe to my people. Let's get the hustle started. Let's go. Okay, so I just did the math. For me to be able to make $5,000 this month, I would have to... Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm out here editing my video. It's already April. It's May 2nd. On my last video, I told you I would like to make $5,000 this month. And to do that, I just did the math right now because I'm editing the video. I will, I will, man, this is great lighting. I need to make $161 per day. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm up for the challenge though. We'll see what happens. We made 160, eight, say 100 and, 167 or 100, yeah, yesterday, first day. So, we we're on track, you know, after one day. So, we'll see. Guys. The time is 10.51 and we accepted our first order of the day and it is an order I've never had before. It is a DoorDash Chipotle catering order. I'm sure there's a lot of those catering orders anyway. You just have, you just have to be earned by offer and then be platinum to get it. But let's go get it. Let's do it. Now the question is, I know a lot of people, I mean, people probably do it in secret and they don't tell anybody. They probably do these catering orders, but they're platinum. But the question is, is it worth staying at platinum to just for the off chance that you're gonna get a catering order like this? I don't know, man, too much competition, but let's go get it. Okay, so we made it to our destination here at Chipotle, but I forgot to tell you, or I was about to tell you that we did had to decline a bunch of orders. I'm gonna tell you right now. So we declined the $2.75 order, 1.2 miles. We declined the $6 order, 10.3 miles. And then our acceptance rate went down from 71% to 70%. And then that's when we got this catering order. So I just, um, I literally just got lucky because I'm at literally 70% right now. So once I go down, I'm gonna go back to gold or no, I'm gonna go straight to silver. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go from platinum yes. to silver. Hello, is this the catering for Okay, my people, we got the catering order. It's been probably, it's 11.30 right now, so it's been a long time. Depending on how long this is going to take, it may or may not have been worth it. But, um, the, I mean, I can't blame the guys inside. The guy was working super hard, so it's not like he was slacking or anything. It was going super, you know, it was going real fast. And I wasn't the only catering order there. There was like four other catering orders there. So, let's go deliver this. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Let's continue the hustle. <laughs> I 
Let's go. Let's go to the house. The time is 12 13 p.m. and we accepted a DoorDash, $5 DoorDash order, 1.2 mile CVS, four items. But I have Uber Eats on and I have, but I took off ride share. I took off ride share because I don't want to get, I don't want to be declining ride share orders. So it's a Uber Eats and Instacart in case I get a, a CVS order from here. And that's what I'm going to start doing going forward. I'm going to start leaving the apps on when I'm not like at a CVS or a Walgreens or something so, or like a grocery store that has like Target all the apps use Target or Target uses all the apps Uber Eats and DoorDash and Instacart so I'll start doing it like that let's see if I need like a little cart nah not really look I'm gonna screenshot what the list is it's a pine sole like a uh, latex gloves and pretty much like cleaning supplies so the first item is this pink the pink stuff this right here look hmm, never seen this brand before and look latex gloves so one of these bad boys I need a scrub daddy a green one so let's get oh perfect a green scrub daddy the last one is stock and then where's the pine sole should be here look that's where the fabuloso is the fabuloso is here so the pine sole should be here as well and it is not Oh, it is right here. Oh my goodness. We are done. Okay, it's been two minutes and we're done. That's what we got right here. Let's pay for this and deliver. Let's do it. Okay, we delivered that order, but I think there's some orders that, that I did not tell you that I declined. So I declined the $2.75 before accepting the CVS one. Declined the $2.75 order two miles. And then we got the CVS order, and then I declined an order that I think I just got an offer again. $11 for 11 miles, I declined it. And then now I'm at 68% acceptance rating, and then I think I got the same offer again. I know, it's something else. $9, 7 miles, uh, red card required, it's a shop and pay order. Man, you know what, let's just, let's take it because with DoorDash we can't I mean it's different bro freaking DoorDash uh, let's just do it so for this Petco order I'm going to leave on Inst I mean yeah Instacart and Uber Eats in case I get an order if I get an order that's on the way I will do it so yeah, those type of those type of places I will I'll do the dirty multi app you know because it's not that bad it's not like it's food you know so let's go Okay, we made it to Petco, my people. So let's get it real quick. It's only for one item. And guys, I don't know. I'm using all the apps in my Android phone because I, I didn't want to, I mean, I wanted to use it in one phone. I use DoorDash on the other phone and Instacart. I want to do everything on one phone. And I'm telling you right now, the UI is not good. It's not responsive like, like the iOS. And I try to, I, I've given Android so many chances to prove me wrong that Android is superior to Apple. But I have not been proven wrong. I've been proven right that iOS is way better. Because navigating through different apps, like it freezes a lot, man. Like in, in, in Android on iPhone, it's super smooth. And it, it can't be my phone. It can't be because of a cheap phone. Because if you get a cheap iPhone, the UI is still the same. I, I, I used to have the, the small iPhone, and the thing is the same thing. It's uh, very smooth. Here is not that smooth. So. But that's enough ranting about iOS versus Android. Let's get the party started. It's just for one item. Oh, it's first. I didn't even need a cart. I don't even know why I got a cart, man. Let me put this cart back. It's a reptile toy. All right, my lovely humans, let us have some lunch. What do we have here? All right, we got half a chicken. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't take out my, my fork. We have half a chicken. We have bread, we have salad, we have corn. We're gonna watch The Resident. We're using our tray right here that we sell on the Joeezy storefront called the Joeezy tray. And uh, that's it guys, we're gonna have some lunch and we're gonna put the secret, it's been a slow day. Earned by time has been missed, but not really because I just finished, you know what? It hasn't been missed because I was able to edit my video. So you know what, forget it. All right, now with that being said, let's, Put the cigarette in the let's put this on right there, let's go, press out 
do we have enough? Oh yeah, we do have enough. We're gonna put this on everything. Oh my gosh, oh my god, we're gonna put it on the on the core one. Oh robot people. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right, you're going crazy, Joey. What's wrong with you? All right, let's eat, baby. Let's do it. All right, my people. The time is 4 p.m. and I'm so shocked, man. We made 64 dollars in that one order, and you would think I'd be like at 300 by now, but nah, the the earn by time switching to earn by offer is not. It, it's just it dies, which is good because I was able to edit my video, so now I could. You know, hustle and you know what? How about this? How about I stop complaining and just you know hear it out? It is the last. It is the first of the month, so it's it's a lot slower than usual by the end of the month and in the middle of you know the beginning of the month. So I, I always forget about that too. But we accepted an eleven dollar order. Uber Eats, five and a half miles, Burger Fi. Let's go get it. Oh, it's not ready yet though. I appreciate it. I'm gonna confirm too. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. All right, it was actually ready as soon as I got there. So let's go deliver. Let's do it. Okay, the time is 5:29 p.m. and we accepted an Uber Eats Taco Rico order, five dollars for like one mile. Let's go get it. Let's do it. All right, we got the order, guys. It was nice and ready. Let's deliver. Let's do it. On today's episode of I want to succeed as bad as I want to be. We're going to look at some new houses that just came on the market. I've been watching these houses from since since it, it since it was just a block of land. It was just a block of land and I was just looking at it and then houses just kept getting you know built. But look at these amazing houses, man. I want a house, bro. I mean, I want to be able to afford a house like this. Not that I want a house so bad. Even though, look, this house is available if you guys want it. If you guys want it, it is available right here. It's a Lennar home. Oh my goodness, man. Look at this house, man. Look at these houses. Come on. Come on. Now look at this house right there. The house is a little bit random because it's like the, a different color. But these are like the more like cheap houses, the cheaper houses, not cheap, cheaper than the other ones. But these seems like they were the ones that were sold the fastest because they're ah, they're the cheapest ones. And and what is this? This is a house like a, it's going to be they're going to build, you know, oh look, they're building a pool there and they're building a thing, a playground for kids. Oh, that's pretty cool. And these are um, some more cheaper houses, but they're still expensive, obviously. I mean, it's here in Miami, Florida. Everything in Miami, Florida is overpriced. And that is it, guys. Man. Oh, we're gonna make it one day, guys. I know I keep telling you, and then, you know, it may sound like, ah, oh, Joe Easy, man, be quiet. You're only delivering food. I mean, how are you gonna become a millionaire? Well, I'm selling, I'm selling these, I'm, like, what I'm, what's happening to me right now like where I'm at right now in terms of like wh where I see myself I could see myself getting to that millionaire status a lot faster now now that I'm selling on Amazon and well just Amazon right now but that's gonna get me a, a lot closer faster you know I'm still doing the YouTube and the deliveries whatever and just continue just don't give up that's the main thing you know a lot of times we'll give up when we're getting closer and closer, we'll give up because it's taking too long. But I'm not gonna give up, guys. So let's continue. Oh, so look, this is like the, if you wanna look at the back part of it, you see, they're still building the outside part. But that is it, guys. Let's continue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in between this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. On Uber, we made. $72.95 on DoorDash, we made $77.75 and we got that reimbursement canceled that I, I didn't tell you guys in the video, but I put it on the top that the DoorDash order for one item for Petco, I had to cancel it because it was out of stock and then I got reimbursed, $5.63. And on Instacart, we made $22.82, believe it or not. And on Lyft, there was actually a lot of, there was a few rides that I did not tell you about in the middle of the shift that I told you. So whatever you saw on the counter, it was actually a little bit more. I just forgot to, and there's a reason why, but 
I was kind of tired yesterday, man. So I, I don't think I, it, it wasn't properly, but it, I'm, I'm gonna fix it for the next video. So you will see every single offer, even the rides. And I always do that. It's just, there's one video I forgot to tell you guys about the rides that I did. And then on Lyft, we made $15.88 for a total of $195.03. Oh my gosh. I did a $5 order in the end as I was going home. A $5 order for a food, a food truck, a food truck that's always busy. I go in there and I'm like, hey, is this order ready? No, it's not ready yet. I left right away. I didn't even want to wait, not even one second because I know food trucks are notorious for not caring about the delivery orders. They take care of everybody there and that place is always packed. So I'm like, I'm not going to waste my time waiting for a $5 order. There was a ride that I got offered on Lyft as I was picking up this Uber order for $7 that I could have done. But I was like, oh no, I'm just gonna do this Uber Eats. And then, you know what, after those two, I was like, you know what, forget it, let me go home. So we did not make $200. Now the question before I give you guys the orders that we did off camera, could I have made $250, $300 with that $64 order that I did in the beginning of the day? Guys, so the problem with that was that I did not get a lot of offers, believe it or not, on earn by offer. I mean, I did get orders, but they were bad, no tip orders. So. I don't, and when I do earn by time, I will get, you know, some orders, the no tip orders, obviously, and then I will get some long distance orders that actually have a good tip, so it pays good. But it feels like I'm moving with the DoorDash earn by time versus DoorDash earn by offer. I'm not really moving because I'm not getting good offers, and then maybe Uber Eats is slow and Uber Rides here is slow. So the question is, I don't know. Do you want to, because I was thinking about, okay, what if you do, you build up a strategy, and I think I read on Reddit once that somebody does this. They'll do only catering orders. And it's kind of weird how they only get catering orders. I don't know. If you go every day to Chipotle, for example, at the time that I went, 11 o'clock in the morning, will you get orders every day? That is the question. I don't think so here in Miami, Florida. There are strategies that I get I get one good order, like BJ's for example. Oh, I got a good BJ's order. I got order that one day. The rest of the the rest of the year, it was slow. I just got lucky that one day. I think I just got lucky on this day, and I think I only got it because I was platinum status. I am now silver status. That could be another reason why I didn't get enough offers. I went from platinum to silver. I ended up with a rating of I'll tell you now. So I ended the day with a 66% acceptance rating. So I went down from 71% to 66%. Now, it, it only gets worse from there. So, I mean, unless it's the weekend, it is Friday the next day, and then Saturday, Sunday, maybe I could save myself, but that's pretty much what happened. Let me know in the comments, do you think I should have gone back to the earn by time? So if I would have, let's say I would have not taken that $64 order, I would have done earn by time or something, for example. I made $195. Subtract 60 bucks, $64. I would have made, without that $64, $131, guys. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much a typical day. You know, anyway, done 30, even though I've been hitting the 150s. So maybe I would have made 150 if I wouldn't have taken that order and done maybe another order. 150, I don't even know, man, who knows? But let me give you guys the orders that we did off camera before I let you go. Before I let you go, I'm gonna tell you guys, we are currently, so I told you that I to be able to make $5,000 in the month of May, I have to make on average $161 a day, every day. Look, this month so far, this is the Giga app, so we'll download it now. We have made $362 for the month, May 1st and 2nd, for an average of $181 per day on average, and that's a running total. So I'm gonna be able to track that with the Giga app, we'll download it now, I'll tell you again. And $181, as long as that stays at 161, and I don't miss any days, then we should be good. We will see what happens. All right, now let me give you guys the orders that we did off camera. We did a $5.15 order, 2.5 miles, 10 minutes to complete. That was a ride actually. A $10.32 ride, 6.1 miles, 23 minutes to complete. A $12.67 ride, 8.6 miles, 28 minutes to complete. $7.51 order, 4.1 miles, 16 minutes to complete. A $7.99 order, 3.7 miles, 14 minutes to complete. And then a $12.42 order. This is a Uber Eats order, 6.5 miles, 25 minutes to complete. 
And then on lift, we did a 9,087 ride, 7.21 miles, 33 minutes to complete. And then a $6.08 ride, 4.96 miles, 16 minutes to complete. And we did one Instacart order towards the end of the day at 7.30 p.m., $22.82 order, $6.91, or a base pay $15.91 tip. You see, Instacart only feeds me some good orders at the end of the day when everybody else goes home. So Instacart is good for at the end of the day nowadays. And that is pretty much it, guys. If you made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely human, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and blow up the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos, make do it then if you should subscribe on my people. My people have a good day, have a good year, have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Love yourself, believe in yourself. It's a Let's go.